Tonight, call her tomorrow. Tonight she's doing the fall play. It's a one-woman performance of hair. What it is, guys? It's, it's your boy, Blasphemous HD. Today, we are here to check out a Try Not To Laugh challenge that you guys sent me that I was gonna skip because it was the one from the last one that the guy sent me that I didn't think was really that good, but it did make me laugh, so I couldn't give him the boot. Maybe today is the day that we get to throw him out. I, I, I mean that we end up giving him the old heave-ho. But we're going to give him another chance. Maybe this one's better than the last one he sent. Let's do this before my pie gets cold. I swear to God, that's not what it sounds like. I hear YouTube just got a lot more strict on its uh, uh, policies. If I say nasty stuff, then it's going to be nasty. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lois. Hey, Lois, I don't like any of these snacks. Can I have something from the kitchen? We can have snacks from the kitchen? I could go for a sandwich. No, no one gets snacks from the kitchen. So, uh, Lois, where are your parents? Didn't they say they were coming? Yeah, but I'm sure Daddy had a last-minute work thing. He's always put business first. Even growing up, he never came to any of my piano recitals. <laughs> Oh, hi, Daddy. You missed the party. A gun? Yeah, you love guns. No, I don't. You don't know me at all. I can't believe you'd blow off my party, then give me a handgun. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. We didn't even give you a hand Netflix? job. Yeah, let's watch one of those stand-up That's specials. not better. There's a bunch of them. They gotta be good. We're gonna no. edit that out. Can't no. say hand job. Angela I'll get in trouble. Johnson? Jeez, they're giving one of these to everyone. How come I don't have one? You do, Peter. This is the taped intro. Mr. Griffin, you're on. So I'm thinking I might get a bite. Really? Hey, I'm off to the grocery store. So what'd you do with the gun? Gun? I don't think this marriage needs a gun. Anyway, I hid the gun someplace safe. What the fuck? It was in a box with Chris's adoption papers. Oh. What the? You heard nothing. Hey, you good? We good? You gotta be all that, bro. Make you think gonna keep jumping over all over the, the place, man. Alone is Chris Griffin. Turn around. We now return to the Orville on Fox. Damn it! I think I loaded a bullet wrong. Oh my God, Pete! Nigga, no! Yes. We are. is not staying in this house for one more second. I'm giving it back to my father. Daddy? Daddy, are you there? What? Daddy, you need to take this gun back. I never should have accepted it in the first place. I'm not. You're keeping it. It's a gift. Damn it, Daddy. Why won't you just take the gun? <laughs> ah! Serious. They haven't done an overhead crane shot yet. Oh, ah! no. And there's the single minor keynote. This is bad. Hey, quick question. Any of you guys know how to counter-sue somebody? Dr. Hartman, please, how's my father? Well, at this point, it's hard to say. Oh, poor daddy. If your doctor ever asks you if you know how to counter-sue somebody, you should probably get surgery elsewhere. I'm just saying. You know what? We're gonna bring him home with us and take care of him until he's 100%. No. Daddy's gonna require all our love and support. No. Well, you got the right guy for that. I'm no, great don't. at supporting people. Mm -mm. On Mad Men, I was Christina Hendricks' bra. Mm -mm. Joan, can you call a meeting of the partners? Help me! I'm all, I'm all done being supportive. I'm all good. Right, Chris, give me a hand with Carter. All supported out over here. Right. Daddy living here is gonna all be a supported big up, baby. and we're all gonna mm -mm. have to make sacrifices. No, we're so not. Meg, no. Daddy will sleep in your room, and Stewie no. and Chris, you'll stay where you are. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, Carter, now we're gonna try and jog your memory and get you talking with some familiar pictures. So I'll hold them up, and you say what they are. Peter, come on. We're trying to help Daddy not relive our embarrassing loss to Joe and Bonnie and celebrity. All right, fine. Damn. Next picture. What? You don't know who he is either? Who was All that? Right, Daddy, I know NCIS is on, but I want to watch Real Housewives, unless you tell me not to. I'm sure Andy Cohen will explain it all on Watch What Happens Live after the show. No! The show itself is bad enough! We don't need another show explaining what we just saw! At least he's better. 
Since you're doing a little better, Daddy, I thought you should see where you work. It might help trigger more memories about your life. Your chemical waste gave a town cancer. Yikes. You burned down the entire Amazon rainforest. Whoops. You're the number one producer of whale meat. Yes. You dumped lead in drinking water. Zoinks. I'm sorry, Daddy, but you're a very cutthroat businessman. And maybe worst of all, you engage in constant gratuitous animal testing. Damn. Sir, as you requested, we had all the monkeys watch Vikings. Wow. I guess I was a cutthroat businessman. But what about when I wasn't at work? What did we do together? But to be honest, we didn't do much. Your work always came first. Really? And you still took care of me when I was hurt? I... I don't like who I was. I haven't been this happy since I went on safari. Oh my god, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. She was able to actually make her father feel shame about putting a roof over their head and being business-minded for their entire lives. I bet she was happy. Just either you want to live at the bus stop and I spend all day telling you how pretty and special you are, or you want to live in daddy's super mansion house and daddy ain't going to be around all day. But when daddy come over, daddy going to still need you to make daddy a sandwich. Daddy going to need all the fixings on that sandwich. You decide, women. You want a Porsche or a bus pass? Uh, I... Morning, pumpkin. I brought muffins. You brought pumpkin muffins? We've already done that. Damn it, now it's gonna go back outside. Wow, Daddy, you really meant what you said. You know, you guys made me realize that I wasted my whole life caring about money. And I'm not giving up another second. That's why I've decided to retire from Pewter Schmidt Industries and give all my money no, to charity. No, no, no! Daddy, I don't care. I've seen what wealth's done to you, and I certainly don't want that to happen to us. What are you doing? People, we wouldn't miss millions of dollars, right, Peter? Look, I know you're upset about losing our inheritance, but when we got married, the first thing I told you is I didn't want Daddy's money. Uh, well, I still want that money. Kill her! The only way I can afford that kill this hoe! myself into 100% stained glass. I don't get it. Neither do I. All right, guys. Now, the way I see it, Carter's only given away his money because he's nice now. So to get our inheritance, we have to figure out a way to make him mean again. So, ideas. How do we make Carter mean again? Why don't we hire a prostitute to bring him almost to completion? Okay. Don't love that my daughter came out of the gates with that. Oh, I know, I know. I just had a girl do that to me like a week ago. I haven't hung out with her since. Why don't we hire a transvestite to pick him up at a bar, then take off her wig at the exact moment of completion? Yeah, Meg, take it down. What the? Hey, wait, I got you. Kill! How do we summon Zool? I bet Zool could help. This is why women get hit. Saying real ideas, this is why you hit women. Things I've seen in children's programming. Yeah, Dad, I kind of agree with Meg. It seems like you're going for comedy over substance. So, what do you want to do today? You know, this may be crazy, but I'd love to finally play piano for you. Cool, like Alicia Keys. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we do something together? I'll play and you sing. Sounds great. Who's the guy who married a kid and then later on killed his wife? Jerry Lee Lewis. That's it. You don't have to sing the piano part. I'm playing it. All right, here's the plan. I close pin his balls. I'm glad they cut that off. Balls? What? Oh my God. Balls where? Look at them. This is just what they she's been balls? saying she wanted. Lois got balls? spend time with her dad. What they look like? And for him to love her. Hey, let's Are they hairy? Up. How about my karaoke song? Sure. What, what is it? The theme to Hill Street Blues. What? But that doesn't have any lyrics. The hell it doesn't. Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues. Cut it. Cut it now. Please cut it. Oh, the one time you let it go all the way through. I hope I don't laugh so I can fire your black self. What are you doing here? I'm sorry I only cared about the money, Lois. Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues. edit back to it. What happened? Who told Carter he could give away our f money? What? What's going on? And what are you idiots doing here? I can't waste time with you. I'm a cutthroat businessman. Ah, the gunshot changed him back. Oh, thank God. There's my Carter. And I think we all learned a valuable lesson about firearms. That's right, Peter. Guns create problems, but they solve them, too. Do they? Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, thanks for coming in to see me today. 
Now, is this about Chris? We know he's been struggling lately. The point is, Chris's grades aren't improving. And just yesterday, he caused a little ruckus in his history class. We here feel that the best solution is for Chris to attend something called vocational school. Now, won't vocational school limit Chris's options down the road? Oh, hardly. He'll have a wide range of career options, such as the following. This water repair. Family Guy writer. Those are three terrible options. Don't you look pretty today? Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? That is a telltale sign that somebody's about to ask you for something. Especially if they're not normally complimenting you. If they compliment you, then that means that they want something. I can't believe I have to go to vocational school. Does this mean I'm a failure? No, sweetie. It means that we're failures. I know it's a big step, honey, but you can do it. That's right, Chris. This family's never shied away from a new challenge. Like when I was a spokesman for that perfume, Deschanel number five. Can I help you? Yes, I am here for my first day of vocational school. Right this way. All right, settle down, you yucks. We got a new student, Chris Griffin. So everybody give him an A. A! Griffin, where's the uchi or squalata at the end? You Jewish? No. What is a it's true if you're Jewish, they cut your dong off with an axe. We do a nice sit-down thing here. Little piccata, little veal. Rocco here learned to cook in the joint. Okay, everybody dirty up your hands. We'll eat in ten. It's your brother's life, so here's your showcase of prizes. You'll be the talk of the town with your new macaroni necklace. All right, time for Bethany Frankel. It's America's good favorite gift. chattering pirate skeleton. Dad! Dad, get off me! Get off me, Dad! Hey! Hey, get off my sister! He didn't leave the baby alone. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, like William Howard Taft? <laughs> Meg, why are you on the couch? You know you're not supposed to be on the furniture. Look at her. Oh. She just sits there and takes it. She deserves a better life than this, Brian. All right, Chris. A big part of being a mechanic is being completely shocked when somebody hasn't had a particular item on a restaurant menu. Hey, Chrissy, we're thinking about going over to Pete's. Whoa, whoa, what? You never had a bread sandwich from Pete's? We've covered this. Somebody tell me what it is. What do you think it is? It's three pieces of bread. Hey, you guys going to Pete's? Someone get me a bread sandwich. Griffin's never had one. What? What? Guys, I just called Pete's. They're closed forever. All right, Stewie, how do we make Meg popular? I've got it all figured out. They're posting the cast list for the school play. I'll just give Meg all the parts. That way, she'll be the most popular girl in school. <sighs> oh. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? Well, that didn't work. Don't worry, Brian. We've still got the spring musical. Territory folks should stick together. Territory folks should all be pals. Cowboys dance with farmers' daughters. Farmers dance with the ranchers' gals. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. G, thanks so much for having us over for dinner. Tell your mom and dad about the story you wrote. Oh, I don't know. Chris, come on, don't be shy. Okay, it's called The Black Duck. Come on, it's just a stupid story, guys. Hey, if it was such a stupid story, why would it have such a well-rounded protagonist? Oh, Chris, I'm so happy you have so many wonderful new friends. He was very unpopular in high school. Oh, yeah, you know, he's strong, too. He takes care of a lot of stuff for us. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> Was that a masturbation right. joke? If we can't make Meg popular, we can at least find her a boyfriend. Neil, can you come out? We need to talk to you. Why are all the lights off? I can't turn them on myself. It's the Sabbath. Get the lights for me, will you? Also, can you pick up the phone and order me a pizza? I can't do it. It's the Sabbath. I can't believe we did all that and he still turned us down. I know. And also, Brian, it's Thursday. Hey guys, can you hold my phone and point it over this way? I want to live stream my suicide. Can you make sure I'm totally in the frame? Yeah, I'm not a pro. You get what? what? You anyway, what is wrong with people that they're so myopic and just preoccupied with their own little lives? Is it on? It's whatever it was when you handed it to me. Kevin, before you go through with this, would you consider taking Meg out for a date? Okay, I'll ask her out. Great, call her tomorrow. Tonight she's doing the fall play. It's a one-woman performance of Hair. All right, Brian, here comes Meg. Now, don't let on that we had anything to do with Kevin asking her out. Relax, I know how to keep my cool. 
What Scott, the hell? I'm going out with Kevin Swanson. Get out of here. Principal Shepard, we came to ask if there's anything we can do to get Chris back in the school. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I I'm afraid we can't do that. Oh, I think you can. Has a doctor seen this? What are you going to do? Charge me with smoking? Mr. Griffin, I'm afraid you have testicular cancer. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I think maybe there is. Meg and Kevin need to have the perfect date. That's why I gave the rest of the staff the night off. We have to be... Hey, look. I might let you stay in the Discord since you didn't show the part where Peter would open his legs and show his bajitis. In total control of the evening. Two for Swanson. Hi, we're the Hollander rehearsal dinner. There are 46 of us. Uh, Stewie, before you gave Damn the staff it. the night off, did you check the reservation book? I did not. What do we do? Jeez, Just keep ho. giving them crayons until we figure it out. Chris, oh, there's something your father shit. and I want to talk to you about. Chris? Chris? Chris, we're worried about you and your new friends. Pa, don't worry about it. Chris, you need to be back in high school where you belong, but Principal Shepard won't let you back in, and we don't know what to do. Chris, I'm going to say this in a way an Italian mechanic would understand. <laughs> You're breaking your mother's heart. Ma! Mother! Why didn't you say so? Ma! I'll take care of it. What is he, a... Uh, is he some sort of pimp now? Like a... Where it looks like a housewife slash pimp. Well, assassinate him? What have you got there? A guy letting me back into school says what? What? Damn it! Okay, see you on Monday. So, Meg, how was your night out with your boyfriend? Actually, we broke up. That almost made me laugh. I was real close. Real close. I snickered. Oh, Meg, I'm so sorry. Well, I guess some people are just meant to be alone, you know? They're so broken inside. So, you're okay with it? Yeah. It actually felt great to be empowered for once. You know what, Brian? We actually did make Meg's life a little bit better. <laughs> Good morning. I'm your instructor, Cody Spray Tan. Are you ready to pedal so hard your periods go away? Yes, it's not healthy, but it's convenient. Now we're going to sprint while I tell a distracting personal story about how I almost met Adam Levine. It's 2016. It's Vegas. I'm coming off a horrible breakup. First pool party in, I see who I think is a dirty man with tattoos, and I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I've what? learned that every office needs a worst employee. That all the other employees can look down on. I can be that. I can be that guy. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, Francesca Louise Alessandro. Good news. I found your Instagram. Did you see the 90 photos I liked in a row last night at 2 a.m.? Also, who's at Becky Fitness 96? And can you tell her to unblock me? Holy crap, this place is amazing! And just think, this is where Helen Kelly used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? <laughs> I got you dropped from jury duty. Oh, great. What line did you use? I have read about this exact case. That's good. On hotsy-totsy-nazi.com. That's not good. That was close. That was really close. Oh, my God. Almost. Oh, my God. That was close. Hey, can robots do cocaine? What? Nothing. I was just, you know. Can they get cocaine? Whoa, check it out. A sorry board game. Let me see it. Three pieces missing. How'd you do that? I can shake anything and figure out what all's in there. You got 11 periods left. All right, time to retrieve my big wheel from Garbage Island. Let's do it. Hey, how'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part-time job at Target. 
Okay, technically, I work at the weird in-store Pizza Hut. The Target in-store Pizza Hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. Cleveland, you agree with me, right? Well, my wife and I do yoga, so I don't have to pick a side. Fine, we're leaving in a huff. What does that mean? Cleveland, you leaving? Nah, I must stay. Hey, so can I meet your wife? Now, she's beat. playing with a trains. There's tension in our relationship, but I can't say why. Why? I can't say. I can't believe we're doing big little lies, and I'm the train guy. Normally, this would be the point where I would say twisms and do an outro and all that good stuff, but my camera died. So, see you guys next video. Twisms.